How's it going everybody? Lucian here bringing you another tutorial video. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Power World on Linux. I want to assume you already have a Linux machine and you're already SSH'd into it. I'm also going to assume that you already have Steam CMD installed. I already have Steam CMD installed on my Linux machine here. However, if you don't, I will have a link down in the description below for the website for you to download the Steam CMD onto whatever Linux machine that you're using. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using Ubuntu 20.04. First thing I always like to do, especially when I boot up a fresh Linux server, is I like to uh, update it. So we'll do sudo apt update, enter, and my sudo password. All right, now that we are up to date, I'm going to go ahead and make a new directory with mkdir and we'll call it power world. Hit enter. And then we're going to cd into that directory. And then we'll do a pwd. And then you're going to want to copy your path right here. If not copy it, just remember it because we're going to be using it here in just a second. So now let's go to steamcmd. Hit enter and let that initialize. All right, now that we are here, we're going to do force underscore install underscore dir for directory. And we're just going to paste our, uh, paste our path in there. And I'm going to end it with another slash, hit enter. Then we'll do login anonymous. And then we're going to do app underscore update and then the app ID, which is 239-4010. And then we're going to do validate and then hit enter. Now this is going to download our server files. So depending on the internet, this could vary in how long it takes. We'll come back when it's finished. All right, now that this is complete, we can go ahead and type in exit. And then if we do a quick ls, okay. So as you can see here is where all of our config files, uh, our config settings are going to be. So let's go ahead and do nano and start typing it in, then hit tab to auto complete it. We're gonna hit enter. And here's all of our server settings. You feel free to go through here and change whatever settings you want. For me, I'm not going to do that. I just want to change the server name real quick. So I'm going to do Control W and type in uh, Default Power World. For me, I already changed the name earlier. I don't have a recording, or I wasn't recording, so. But you'll type in Default Power World and you'll come up to right here. You can name it whatever you want. I named mine which is server. Here you do the server description, the admin password and the server password if you want that. Then of course the port number is also there as well. Once you get done, you can do control X, then Y, then enter. Mine's already saved, so I don't have to do that, so you'll see me doing that here. And now we're gonna go ahead and start the server. But before we do that, we're going to create a screen. So we're gonna type in screen, space minus capital S, and then we'll do power world. This is a, a custom name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name my power world. Hit enter. And now we're in our, our separate screen. And then we're going to run the power world server. And hit enter. If you get this error right here, not to worry as I do have a solution for you. You may or may not get this error. I'm glad I did. This way, if you get the error, I can show you how to fix it. So we're gonna do control A and then K to kill the screen. And then we're gonna hit yes to confirm that. Then what we're going to want to do is I'm going, I'm going to copy and paste some commands in here that I've written down for the fix. And I'll have the same commands down in the description below. So the first thing we're gonna do is make a directory, enter. And then we're going to download Something from Steam using CCMD. And 
and then we're going to copy that over by doing this. The only thing different for this command that you'll need to do is where it says home slash Lucian. You'll need to change that for your proper directory for your server. In my case, we're working with home slash Lucian. So this is where it is for me. And we're going to hit enter and then we're done. So now we can go to our screen dash s power world enter and then run that server command again which is pal server just like this hit enter and now everything started up just fine then to detach from the screen without closing the server you can do control a and then d and then you can see here we detached so let's go ahead and switch to the game and verify that we can log in. All right, so let's close this. We're going to join multiplayer game. Hit OK. Then down here, you can see we have the direct connection details. For me, I'm going to put the, uh, the IP address of my server. You can put the IP address of your server. And then hit connect. Of course, if you're hosting this and you pour forward everything on your router and not just your firewall, and you're hosting it publicly, you would put your public facing IP address. All right, so now that we're in the server, we're at the character creation screen and that's it. We can go ahead and create a character and join the server. And that's gonna be it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you on the next one.